After this video, you're going to stop Googling and Googling and Googling legal email marketing practices because you're going to get it. I have three steps for you to follow to finally rid that feeling of, is this okay? When you're sending those marketing emails. And stick around till the end and I will tell you about my new free resource for online brands and content creators to find and fix your legal blind spot. I'm Maria Spear Aulis, lawyer for content creators and online brands, and this is The Spear IP Show. So like I said, there are three key areas that we gotta focus on. Sending, content, and unsubscribe. First, sending. You want to be sure to send emails to people who have actually affirmatively opted into your email list. I kind of tricked you because this isn't actually a legal requirement. I know, right? A lot of people will have you think if you're crowdsourcing these kinds of tips in Facebook groups that this is a legal requirement, but it's not. However, it is a really, really, really good idea. So many services like MailChimp and ConvertKit require that you only send emails to people who've opted into your email list. That's because people who have not opted in and receive your emails will mark them as spam, which makes it harder for these services to deliver emails to people's inboxes. Plus, don't you want people who actually want to read your stuff to get your stuff? I wouldn't want someone who didn't opt into my email list to get my stuff. Two, let's talk about content. These are just some little boxes to tick when it comes to the content of your email marketing messages. The from designation has to be accurate. If your email is coming from a brand, it can't say that it's coming from an individual or pretend to be an individual. The subject line of the email should not be misleading or the content of the message. That should also not be misleading. The content of the actual email should be accurate. Here's one you might not know. The email has to have your actual valid postal address. That's why you see addresses at the bottom of a lot of marketing emails. And the message should disclose that it's a marketing or advertising message. Finally, let's talk about unsubscribes. It's kind of like road rage when you unsubscribe from a list like three times and you still continue to receive their email messages, right? Every single marketing email that you send should have an unsubscribe option and it shouldn't require them to click through five times either. It's gotta be visible, it's gotta work, and you've gotta honor it. <laughs> You can't require a fee or other exchange of information in exchange for that unsubscribe. Make it easy for them. So those are my three steps to legal email marketing compliance, sending content and unsubscribe. And I hope that helps you to avoid Googling that topic in the future. I want you to head right now to spear-ip.com slash quiz. I'm going to help you find that legal blind spot that's been kind of lurking in the back of your mind, on the bottom of your to-do list, in the back of your business for a while now. And then I'm gonna tell you how to fix it. Again, head to spear-ip.com slash quiz.